Okay, so for part A, we see that uh, the I component and the J component are the same with an exception of a minus sign and the cosine. However, we do know that uh, cosine of theta plus pi, uh, so if you have an angle theta and you add 180 degrees to this, the cosine will be the same exact thing because technically you have the same triangles except that it's negative so this will be minus cosine theta so what that tells me is that the electric field in the i direction will be e0 cosine kz minus omega t uh, plus so minus minus becomes plus in the j it's e0 cosine kz minus omega t plus pi so I replaced minus cosine theta by cosine theta plus pi or in this case theta is kz minus uh, omega t so we can see uh, that uh, ex and ey have the same amplitude uh, uh, but the EY lags the EX by pi because it's uh, it shifted pi to the left in the Y so uh, that means EY lags EX by pi And so, uh, if that's the case, then the state of polarization will be 135 degrees uh, because it's uh, so it's a P state or a linear state uh, at. 135 or you could say minus 45 p state at 135 degrees equally you could say minus 45 degrees because when uh, uh, the x component is at its max uh, the y component will get to its minimum uh, uh, so so it will be a linear polarization so um, so they're both traveling in the z direction of course uh, but if this is the x this is the y um, so uh, uh, and this is here uh, this guy is actually uh, at its minimum so this guy is actually uh, plus plus j equal plus j So let's say uh, Z uh, let's say this is Y X and so This guy has its maximum value here, but the X or I should probably do it the other way. Uh, along the Y, it's going to be a minimum. Uh, 
so the actual e field will go something like this. Yeah, close to that. Or more like here. So this is minus 45 degrees. Okay, so for part B, we could change these two cosines and, and make sort of a similar argument. So, uh, yeah, let me do that. So for B, uh, E will be I. Now, e zero sine two pi z uh, over lambda uh, z over lambda. So this is uh, over lambda uh, minus uh, v over two pi v. 2 pi times the frequency times t. Now this here is k and 2 pi f is omega. So I could replace this in both, both of them without having to rewrite the second one. So the same applies to the second one. So then e will equal i e0 sine and uh, uh, kz minus omega t but sine is the same sine is cosine uh, shifted by pi over 2 uh, so cosine pi over 2 shifted to the right is actually sine so this becomes kz minus omega t minus pi over 2 and then the same thing applies to the second one, so minus j e0 cosine k, let's call this k0 and omega0 since it's v0. Okay, k0z minus omega0 t minus pi over 2. Now again, I'll use the same argument above. Um, uh, cosine theta plus pi is minus cosine theta so I will replace this minus sign and the cosine by a cosine that angle plus pi so then e will become i e0 cosine k0z minus omega 0 t minus pi over 2 minus j um, e0 cosine so so I'm going to take this minus sign out put a plus and add pi to this so this becomes k0z minus omega 0 t plus pi minus pi over 2 becomes uh, plus pi over 2 Um, so again, uh, this is just a kind of concealed version of the above, of part A. Um, um, and we again get, so we're going along the x-axis, uh, along the z-axis. Switch it. And uh, this is shifted by 
uh, pi over 2 um, so this is going to be uh, and this is like this x Uh, the y will be uh, on here. So it's again a minus 45 uh, degree state linear. So it's linear polarization and it's minus 45 degrees from x axis same as part A. Uh, they have the same amplitude uh, uh, but the difference between them uh, EY lags EX by pi over 2 minus minus pi over 2 equals pi. So again minus 45 or 135 okay that does it for B okay so for part C uh, let's do part C we could see that again they have this they have equal amplitudes um, but here EX lags EY uh, by pi over 4 because uh, EY is shifted to the right pi over 4 so it's a head by pi over 4 and uh, now if you want to see this more clearly and more elaborately although you don't have to uh, you could rewrite part C in terms of cosines uh, because uh, you know the sine is just cosine the angle minus pi over 2 shifted to the right pi over 2 rearrange and get it in terms of cosines um, and you will see that the y component is smaller than the x component by pi over 4 uh, the amplitudes remain the same now the phase change however in part C is not a multiple uh, of pi uh, which is needed for linear polarization and uh, it's not a multiple of pi over 2 which is required for circular polarization so it has to be elliptical so the state of polarization is elliptical this is elliptical polarization um, and so uh, elliptical polarization and this and here because we have an ellipse so because EX uh, EX lags EY by pi over 4 we have an ellipse that's tilted at uh, 45 degrees uh, so uh, so it's so 45 degrees with respect to the x-axis and it looks something like this so this is tilted at 45 degrees Okay, um, and it's a left-handed ellipse. Um, uh, one way to figure out that is you could use the angular momentum. Um, and if you look at the field uh, observed, let's say we fix z at z equals zero. Uh, if we look back at the source, we rotate counterclockwise if the polarization is right-handed. Um, and so uh, counterclockwise and elliptical now let's look at D uh, D uh, oh, by the way for C and D the plane uh, does travel uh, towards minus infinity uh, you could rewrite this as uh, cosines uh, and see that uh, but uh, uh, 
for C especially, you have to write it with cosine to see that. Okay, so the other one is, uh, you know, because you have minus kz plus omega t. Um, so you're going in the negative z direction. Um, and here, um, yeah, the, the magnitudes are again equal. Uh, but uh, what's, what case difference they are? Uh, well, if you look, you could see that for D, uh, let me write it down with my pen. Okay, so for uh, D, um, the uh, EX uh, lags EY by pi over 2. Uh, because it's uh, uh, the 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 j component is shifted uh, pi over two to the left, and uh, and so uh, so e y leads e x by pi over two, and uh, so uh, uh, pi over two. Uh, is an odd multiple of pi over 2 therefore the polarization here has to be circular it has to be circular and uh, now again if you look back towards the source from a fixed location say if we fix this at z equals 0 and you observe it uh, we see that the e vector rotates counterclockwise as we move in time. So the polarization in the angular momentum convention uh, has to be uh, right-handed. Circular polarization. Uh, that concludes all four parts A through D for determining the state of polarization of these waves.